Hello friends, welcome to Random Facts with Neil, the channel that explores the world of random, fun, interesting, worthless facts. As someone that loves to learn new stuff, I found I never made time to do it. So I made this channel to challenge myself to learn new stuff every week, then come here and embarrass myself on the internet. So I'm hoping you will join me on my quest for knowledge by hitting the like and subscribe button below. Then meet me back here every week and we'll learn new random stuff together. Sound good? Okay. Fact number one. All right, the first fact involves the most famous event in space history. And it's got nothing to do with Elon Musk. Of course, I'm talking about the moon landing, if you believe in that sort of thing. For those of you that don't know, in 1969, three American astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, they land on the moon, first human beings to land on the moon. It was an historic event televised around the world. Everyone was thrilled. So they're there a few days, they come home. Once they re-enter Earth's atmosphere, their capsule splashes down in the Pacific Ocean where they're immediately picked up by the USS Hornet. And then next stop, eh, 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 ticker tape parade, at eh, champagne, dancing girls, eh, uh, no, no. Uh, first up, U.S. Customs. That's right. Did you know Apollo 11 astronauts actually had to stop and go through customs upon returning to Earth? So just like you and me coming back from wherever, had to stand in line like some sweaty tourist. It, I'm sure they didn't have to do any of that. But uh, they did have to make declarations upon their return, filling out a customs form, which included... Things like moon rocks, moon dust, and moon... whatever. So, there you go. So even in the grandest voyage in human history, leave it to the U.S. government to be one extra roadblock. Fact number two. We're talking about the solar system. Now, when you were in school, did you ever have to make one of those little dioramas of the solar system for science class? You know, the one where your mom took you to the craft store and you had to get all the little styrofoam balls to represent each planet and the sun. And you tried to get them at the right proportion, which, of course, you couldn't do. Um, even in science books, when they try to depict the vastness of the solar system and the difference in size, it doesn't quite capture it. So talking specifically about the sun, which is about 4.6 billion years old, um, it's about 93 million miles from Earth with a radius of about 435,000 miles. Did you know that the sun can hold 1.3 million planet Earths? 1.3 million planet Earths can fit inside the sun. Now, common thought is that that's probably if you squash them just a little bit, but even if they held their spherical shape, it would still hold just under a million planet Earths, which is, it's pretty big. Fact number three, staying in the solar system, now we're gonna talk about Pluto, which, depending on who you talk to, is either the ninth planet in the solar system or a rock. Uh, when I was a kid, Pluto was a planet. Then in 2006, someone decided, uh, no, it's a dwarf planet. So either way, whatever it is, it was discovered in 1930. Um, it's about 3.3 billion miles from Earth, and living up to the name has a radius of only 738 miles, so it's pretty tiny. However, probably the most fascinating thing about Pluto would be the time that it takes to make one rotation around the Sun. Did you know that one year on Pluto equals 248 years here on Earth? Right. So while it takes 365 days, roughly, for the Earth to go around the sun once, it takes 248 years for Pluto to make one rotation around the sun. So if it's discovered in 1930 and we wanted to celebrate Pluto's first found you day, we would have to wait until the year 2178. And uh, yeah, we won't be here for that. Fact number four. Now we're headed back to the other side of the solar system where we're gonna talk about Venus, which is the second closest planet to the sun. And when it's at its closest to Earth is about 38 million miles away. Now, unlike Pluto, that takes forever to get around the sun once, Venus is the exact opposite. So much so that 
Did you know one day on Venus is longer than one year on Venus? I'll say that again. One day on Venus is longer than one year on Venus. Now, how can that be, you might ask? Well, unlike Earth, that only takes 24 hours to make a rotation on its axis, it takes Venus 243 days to make a full axis rotation. The problem is, it only takes Venus 225 days to get all the way around the Sun. Thus, one day is longer than one year on Venus. Crazy, man. Crazy. Fact number five. Have you ever been at the beach and looked around and thought, I wonder how many grains of sand are on this beach? Now, probably not, because that's a pretty dumb thing to think when you're on vacation at the beach. But if you ever actually looked around and actually did think about it, it would probably make your head spin. Now, did you know there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand, not just on one beach, not just on two beaches, but on the entire planet. That's right, there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on planet Earth. What was that sound? It was your head exploding, that was the sound. Don't think about it too long because it actually will make your head explode. So, while there are roughly seven quintillion, 500 quadrillion grains of sand on Earth, there are about one septillion or one trillion trillion stars in the universe, which is basically one followed by 24 zeros. So do with that what you will. All right, let's recap today's facts. Number one, Apollo 11 astronauts had to go through customs upon returning from the moon. Number two, the sun is so large it can hold 1.3 million Earths within it. Number three, it takes Pluto nearly 250 years to make one rotation around the sun. Number four, days on Venus are longer than years on Venus. And number five, there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on planet Earth. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you got something out of today's video. In addition to subscribing below, be sure to check out our social media platforms for more fun random facts. This has been Random Facts with Neil, and now we know what we didn't know.